Hey guys, happy Tuesday. It is now time for Tip Tuesday. And this week I would like to talk about how to build wealth by buying land. Um, this seems to be a hot topic lately. I uh, just closed on a deal this morning where, and I'm sorry if you <laughs> can hear Ramon out there. Ramon does a fabulous job on my yard. If you are looking for someone to mow and landscape, Ramon is your guy. Um, affordable, consistent, such a great person. Anyways, a little shout out to Ramon. So this morning I closed on some land with some clients who um, they, they purchased some land for a really good price. Um, and usually deals like that don't stay on the market long, so they usually get snatched up pretty quickly. So it's important to um, get with a realtor to get set up on a portal so you can catch those good deals as soon as they hit the market. Um, also, if you are, let's say, looking for land in Caddo and you're like, oh my gosh, why is land so expensive? Like there's no way that I'm ever gonna make any money on this. Um, some people are just like, they have sticker shock right now. Um, so I just want to kind of explain that land is never going to decrease in value. Um, I would say it's still a wise decision to go ahead and purchase land, even if it's it's hard for us to want to pay forty or forty five thousand dollars an acre whenever we, you know, we knew that land was seven or eight thousand dollars an acre just you know a few years back. So it's tough. Um, and when I say that, you know, obviously seven or eight thousand dollars an acre, that's going to be depending on location and all of that. You know, if it's in ag use, if it's in floodplain. So um, I'm not saying those are the prices um, now versus what they used to be, but people are still having a lot of sticker shock when it comes to land. Um, and people are kind of being discouraged from buying land because they feel like everything is at the very top of the market right now. Um, it is, you know, it is expensive in our eyes, but I guarantee you if you buy that land and you sit on it for, three to five years, even 10 years, like you're going to make money on that land and you're gonna look back and think, man, I got that for cheap, you know? I was even talking to um, a builder and an investor about this, this issue. So another thing that you can do, if you are just wanting to buy land as an investment, not to really build on, is you can actually buy something like in the path of growth, which is what a lot of developers do. So they'll buy something in the path of growth, they'll wait until, you know, they'll let 10 years go by, let the growth come into that area, and then either develop it or sell it and cash out on it. So that's another good tip. And where I'm personally seeing the path of growth going is east. And um, right now you can still buy land for cheap in like Campbell and Commerce and out towards Lone Oak and Emory. Um, so I would highly recommend, like if you're looking to um, invest in land, which is one of the safest investments you could ever make, um, I mean, you could turn around in a year and liquidate, liquidate it like that. I mean, it's, and chances are you might, you might actually still make some money on it even just a year from now. So that's my tip Tuesday is to invest in land and um, it's still smart to buy now. I think everybody has this impression that we're at the very top of the market and it's like gonna bust or something and prices are gonna go down and honestly, um, we don't predict that to happen. So that's just my opinion. Um, obviously, don't, don't sue me. You know, these are not hardcore solid facts. These are my opinions. So don't send me hate mail. But um, I still think it's a really wise decision to purchase land, really to purchase any real estate um, it's going to keep appreciating. And, you know, even during, you know, like 07, 08, when everything crashed, um, you know, the only people that really lost were the people that had to either foreclose or sell. If you just hold firm through those times where it takes a dip, just like investments or stocks, um, it'll come back up. So real estate is just like anything. So happy Tuesday. Have a great week. If you have any questions, um, just message me.